And now, your first alert five weather. Here's a viewer photo of the Broadmoor where they have decked the halls, the walls, and everything else for that matter. That is always worth the drive to the south end of town to see that holiday light display. Thanks to CPC Photography for sending that in to us. Outside tonight, it's clear and it's just plain old cold. I'm already looking forward to spring, and it's not even winter yet. Uh, winter officially starts on Wednesday. There's that wind chill in the city right now of two degrees below zero. Live in Pueblo, clear and cold. No wind, so thankfully no wind chill. You don't need it. It's cold enough without it. That wind chill really is going to be a problem overnight tonight through mid morning tomorrow morning. If you walk out the door at seven o'clock tomorrow morning, it'll feel like one degree in Colorado Springs, 12 below in Woodland Park. Your skin can suffer frostbite in a short period of time when it's that cold. So dress in layers. I know I pontificate on that a lot, but it's important information that uh, dressing in layers traps the body heat. And don't forget to wear something over your head. You lose a lot of that body heat through your head. By 9 tomorrow morning, still frosty all across the viewing area. Then by late morning, that air mess is going to start to moderate. And here's the reason why. We're going to pick up more of a downslope flow. Better mixing in the atmosphere tomorrow. You get a big helping of sunshine. And there's the word I've been waiting all week to put up on the map there. It is going to be warmer tomorrow. After that cold start tomorrow morning, by late morning, we're above freezing here across El Paso County and Pueblo County. By 2 p.m., those will be your warmest temperatures of the entire day. Once that sun sets tomorrow evening, it is going to be clear and cold once again. Been watching this big Arctic air mass up over Canada right now. It's still going to be up there by Sunday, but then by late Wednesday night into Thursday, a strong surge of cold Arctic air pushes in against the foothills. We'll have that upslope flow around here, and by Thursday, our high temperatures only into the teens. I think we'll have an upslope flow, and that's going to squeeze out a few flurries around here by late Wednesday into Thursday. At this point, it doesn't look like that cold Arctic air is going to stick around long. I think by next Saturday, Christmas Eve, we'll pick up more of a westerly flow, and that'll scour out the worst of that frigid air. Pueblo, this morning, a low of zero. And you know a lot of people have zero tolerance when it gets that cold in the springs. We started at three this morning. Those lows, the coldest we've had around here in the past 10 months. Overnight tonight, same old song and dance. We've got clear skies, no wind, so strong radiational cooling dropping to zero in Pueblo. Five, the overnight low in the springs well below zero across those high mountain valleys. Tomorrow it's our favorite weather combination this time of the year. Sunny and warmer afternoon high temperatures above freezing across most parts of the Pikes Peak region. Some of the warmest air right there across the southern foothills. That westerly breeze coming down the foothills anywhere from 10 to occasionally 15 miles per hour. Maybe you're headed up to mile high for the Broncos and Cardinals on Sunday. Pretty decent for December football final gun at 34. Brady, bundle up. It'll be about 70 in that press box on Sunday. All right, hope you have a great weekend no matter what you've got planned. Holiday shopping tomorrow. Yeah, you'll have to fight the crowds, but you won't have to fight the weather. Pretty decent day for us tomorrow. Better mixing on Sunday. That'll warm us up to 44 degrees. Then a gradual cool down Monday into Tuesday. We warm right back up Wednesday ahead of that Arctic surge. Flurries in the mix late Wednesday into Thursday morning. Right now it doesn't look like a big fall of snow, but we could have icy road conditions by late Wednesday in Pueblo. Last week into Christmas shopping and look, Mother Nature going to gift wrap a beauty. Sunshine, warmer temperatures the next couple of days. Weak push of colder air Tuesday, then that Arctic air mass steamrolls in late Wednesday. Much colder with flurries in the forecast. Canyon City winter officially starts Wednesday at 2.48 in the afternoon. It'll be a mild season opener. Flurries late Wednesday and by Thursday a high only only of 19 degrees, feeling colder with a wind chill. Woodland Park, if you need snow to amp up your Christmas energy, I've got you covered. Late Wednesday, maybe lingering into Thursday morning. Just light snow expected. Consider it a little window dressing for Christmas. Allison?